you're packing to move, where to start, I know it can be totally overwhelming, but that's what we're talking about today, so don't go anywhere. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Krasuski and I'm a real estate salesperson with the green team in beautiful Warwick, New York. And if you haven't already, I would so appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. So today we're talking about packing to move and where to start. I get it, it's totally overwhelming, but by the end of this video, you are gonna have an organized game plan and you'll be ready to tackle this project. Actually, before you even lift a box, you want to take an inventory of every room in the house, including storage areas like basements, attics, and garages. You want to know what you're taking and what you're not taking. Yes, this is also known as the decluttering phase. Now, if you are moving because you sold your home, you should have started this process before you even listed your house. And if you're watching this video and you're thinking, well, we're getting ready to sell our house and put it on the market, check out my other video, Staging versus Decorating. It's floating around here somewhere, and that would be a good place for you to start. Listen, packing is hard enough. Don't pack stuff you don't love, don't want, or don't need. It really should serve a purpose if you're bringing it with you. And if that purpose is it brings you joy, then that's fabulous. If you agree with what I'm saying, leave me a comment below. Type the word declutter. If you're hiring movers, the more they have to move, the more they charge. So there's a little financial incentive for you to really take a keen eye and make those hard decisions about what's coming and what's not. Also, if you're hiring movers, and even if it's just for the really big stuff like furniture and things like that, I suggest you take photos of those items and put them in a little binder. Actually, that brings me to another point. You wanna create a binder where all your important documents are gonna live. Especially if you're moving out of the area, you need to get medical records, you need to get um, veterinarian records, school records, you want to keep a copy of your contracts, your moving contracts, and things like that all in one spot. So another key tip would be to get that binder going as well. Now, if you have items that you don't want to take with you, you could donate them, have a garage sale, you could sell them on Facebook Marketplace, um, and you can also do Craigslist, any area like that. In Warwick, we have several consignment shops, clothing, and we had a furniture one. I don't know if she reopened yet. Um, but we also have an auction house. So your area might have that. So you call up the auction house, they come for a flat fee, pick everything up, they auction it off, and then they take whatever money they make, deduct the fee, and that's what you get. So check in your area. There might be some auction houses as well. Okay, now that you have your inventory done of everything that you're taking, you want to have a moving caddy. So this is going to have all your moving supplies in it. And I'm going to put a list down below, a link to my website with a list of everything you want to put in there. So you want to put like labels, Sharpies, um, packing tape, scissors, box cutters, bubble wrap, all that stuff. I'm going to put that in the link down below. And you should have one of those for every one packing. So if there's three people in your house that are responsible for packing, you have three of those separate caddies, go to the dollar store, get a bucket, fill them up. You do not want to be fighting over tape, trust me. Also a tip for packing, when you're using packing tape, put one long piece of string under it. That helps to lift it up when you're unpacking. So there's a tip for you there. So go to my website to find out everything that you need, need for that moving caddy. And one thing you want to have in all your caddies, yes, there's a caddy theme going on, first aid kit, because accidents are bound to happen. As far as boxes are concerned, you can buy new ones at Home Depot, Lowe's, you can go online, you can go to U-Haul, where, wherever you like to purchase your boxes. You can be Echo Chic and recycle as well. You can go to food stores, liquor stores, places like that and collect their boxes. Just be careful because used boxes are not as sturdy as new. I love to recycle, but you you might wanna just think about that. Maybe you get some recycling and some new. Now, a tip for when you're ready. Have you noticed we haven't even started packing yet? You wanna color code, color code, color code. Did you hear me? Did I say color code? So here's what you wanna do. Whether you wanna get labels that you color code, or you wanna color code it with all the different color Sharpies, or there's dots, you can buy little color dots. So here's what you want to do. 
give each room a color. Say maybe the, the kitchen gets red, the dining room gets yellow, living room gets purple, whatever. On your boxes for the, everything that you're packing from that room, put in one box and put that color sticker. So red, kitchen, and you're going to write what's in there. Okay. Especially if you're hiring movers as well, you can take the little dots and put them. So let's say you have three lamps in your living room, two small tables, um, and I don't know, a magazine rack. You can put stickers on those that are that color. And then the moving company knows what room that those things need to be moved into. You don't want all your boxes in the garage and then you got to haul everything. Now, if you're moving yourself, obviously you'll be doing that. But if you put a label on the top and a label on the side and color code it, you will know exactly what room to place it in when you're unpacking your truck. Next, you're going to create a cleaning caddy. So this is a caddy that you're going to have, if you haven't noticed, I have a whole caddy theme going on, um, where you're going to have your cleaning supplies. So this is for you while you're packing and also to bring to your new house. So the basics, and I'll have a link below, wood cleaner, window cleaner, all that fun stuff, mop and broom. So you're prepared. Especially if you're moving to a house that someone's already lived in. Here in New York, it's supposed to be broom swept clean. That's the term that we use in our contracts. So I don't know about you, but I'd either hire a cleaning lady or go in with all my cleaning supplies to make sure all the bathrooms in the kitchen are clean before I start unpacking. Okay, and the third and last caddy you're going to create, yes, it's a caddy theme, um, is an all-purpose caddy. So this is actually for the day you're moving. Okay, so the number one item you want to have the day you're moving, toilet paper, people. You do not want to get to your new house and find out the previous owner or new construction did not leave you any toilet paper. Yes, you need to have that. You want to have paper plates, knives, um, sporks. What's a spork? You want to have forks, um, cups, water, snacks. You don't want to be hangry when you're, you know, moving. Let's face it, this is going to be a long day. This is going to be a marathon. You did not pack in one day. You are not up unpacking in one day and you are going to be eating probably some serious takeout. So you want to have some supplies for you when you're moving in. Okay, now that you have all these caddies in place, now you're actually ready to start packing. And then you're probably wondering, well, where do I start? That's a subject for next week's video. So I hope you come on back and watch. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe, like, and leave me a comment and let me know what pre-packing strategies you've put into place during your last move. Thanks again, and I hope you have an amazing day.